receive what you paid for, honey. I'm not a shopaholic, but when I do buy something, especially online, I get really excited and I anticipate its arrival, just like any normal person would when they purchase something. Now, the same feeling should be applied when you ask the Lord for something when you have prayed. Prayer is a conversation between you and your Heavenly Father. Everybody should know this by now. And I don't know about you, but when I have a conversation with God, there are intervals where I am quiet and I open up my spirit and listen for what he sends my way. Now, when I do have a need or want, I bring that to him in a prayer as well. And after praying or asking for that thing, I thank him for it and never ask again. After you have prayed for what you desire, behave as you would after receiving what you paid for. There are some people who beg God for what they just prayed for. And every time they think about it, they beg for it again and again and again. How do I know? Because once upon a time, I was one of these people. And all this shows him and your ministering spirits is that you are in doubt. I would like you to honestly answer this question. Would you replace an order you just ordered every time you thought about it? No, because you don't have the money to waste like that, right? Exactly. Your faith comes in like money in the spiritual realm. Don't waste it by constantly asking the Lord for what you just prayed about. If you have been doing that, Have you received what you prayed for as yet? I'm sure the answer is no. Or it took years before you received it. You want to know how you can simply receive what you paid for? Thanks. Thanksgiving is the highest form of praise. I have said this in many of my videos before and I will say it again. Say thank you to the Lord for the things that you have prayed for. Tell the Lord, Father, I know what I just prayed for. I believe I've received it when I prayed for it. I just want to tell you, thank you for that thing, Lord. Now, another thing that can hinder your prayer from coming into fruition is when you're praying for something that is needed, the goal is to act as if that thing is a seed. Don't go and tell everybody about it, okay? This should be between you and the Lord because the only two of you know what really should happen. Other people will want to know the ins and the outs of what you prayed for. And with their human logic, they will pull it apart and then tell you what about that thing that just won't work. And you will walk away depressed, stressed, and wondering if you were too overzealous about that dream. Maybe this person was right. Maybe they were right. And here comes negativity creeping in to hijack your dream and vision and choke that thing to death. Listen fam, you don't need that in your life. Okay, you don't. No, you, no. Mm -mm. Return to sender. So keep it cute and put it on mute. Okay. After the Lord has delivered your heart's desire to you, then you can use that time as a testimony. Because let's face it, praying is paying for that thing in the spirit. You will be tempted to shift into unbelief and speak against that thing. Don't, because you will regret it. Have you ever played snake and ladder before when you were younger? If you have, well, you will remember when you rolled a dice and it landed on a number that made you move to a number where that snake was. And because you moved to that number, you were devoured by the snake and was placed on a lower number. The same thing happens in real life with your negative words. It sets you back. But Diana, it's so hard. Yeah, it's hard, but it's not impossible. When you're tempted to speak negatively about your life and your situation, ask yourself, is it worth going back? If the answer is no, well, you have it right there. Don't say it. Speak what you desire to see and you will receive what you prayed for or paid for. (laughs) Thank you guys so much for listening. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and smush that bell notification button so that you can get more videos from me. All right, see you guys in the next one. Later.